Right. Welcome to Creepin' Real. I am Judah. Over here, we got Jacob behind the camera. We have Gabe, mm-hmm. the man that I am constantly at battle with. He comes in here, he lowers my office chair. Mm-hmm. It's just to, you know, fit underneath the desk real nice so I can slide in. I'm, I'm not in the camera view. Your legs are not that big, bro. Um, so no, you couldn't. Are. He's got the uh, shaper thick thighs. Uh, the, I do, but even... the arms on the chair, dude. Yeah, we've got you tree know? trunks, right, dude? We do. And I did Amen. just catch him, like, a second ago, touching my Mario cup, like, randomly, oh just moving it. The man, he can't leave my desk alone. That's the, you son of a... Complete disrespect. I love it. The other week, we streamed on Rumble a fantastic movie, yeah, called Spookies. Um, uh, ghoulies, I mean, yeah. Spookies. Jacob was like, hey, let's watch Spookies, and I was like, perfect. I've seen this movie before, and when I watched it, I was like, we have to do this, but at the same time, I know it's so horrible, I didn't want to bring it up. So I'm glad that you suggested it, because then I could be like, hey, I didn't. Let's, uh, Gabe, roll that trailer. That's weird. But... No, no. Okay, pause this for a second. Mike is short. Scooch that back just a sec. <clears throat> Jacob, do you remember how <laughs> old was Billy? Billy, 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 Billy. The, uh, the boy who had the birthday at the beginning. What was it? What birthday was wasn't it? Wasn't he 10? It was 13. 13? Close. So he, it was his 13th birthday. What? Yeah, 13 years, it looks like. Yeah, that's it's exactly it. So a little foreshadowing of poor little Billy <laughs> poor right Billy. there. Oh, what does this mean? Yeah, exactly. Okay, guy. keep it going. It's boring. <laughs> If you can even tell what that is. A fantastic 20, 240p. Oh, he's happy. She has a weird. There she is. I we'll really, get there. We'll get there. Don't get understand there. why they put that in the trailer. That makes no sense to me. Oh, it's in the movie. Corn. And then they do the shit. This is, this is all going to be talked about. Trust me. It's all connected. Come on, Megan. It's spooky as hell inside. Megan. No. <laughs> uh, crazy vampire bitch. <laughs> oh, the same one, yeah. yeah. Let's get our ratings out of the way just right now. First, like, subscribe, and share if you enjoy horror movies. Why don't you give us your guys' uh, ratings down in the in the comments? Yes, please leave a comment. When I watch this movie, it is so horrible. It's so bad as far as the storyline goes. It's it's hideous. It's what storyline? What what storyline is there? So if we're gonna gauge it on an overall enjoyable like uh, art piece, this is crap. This is like a four. But if we're looking at it through a whole diff- bunch of different lenses, like knowing that this was done by a bunch of uh, film students originally through a school, and then the school realized that they were doing a horror movie, and the school withdrew their support for the movie. Oh, okay. That's a a lens. And understanding that the money man, Michael Lee, uh, had severe control over things and was like being very, you know, micromanaging. He was one of those guys. He felt like he was an artist. And so, yeah, exactly. You know. And uh, which we'll get into all the, of this. When you, your, what's your rating here, man? I'm, I'm going to give it a six as oh. an overall enjoyment. Sure. Okay. Not reading the history, it's a four. It's garbage. But once I dug into the history. The whole story. Yeah, behind it mm-hmm. and all of the drama and the production – I'm like into this, and I'm literally now thinking about buying the Blu-ray just so that I can get all the extras, extras no. and like no. dive into it. What's what your thoughts? Was that, was that vinegar, or, uh, whatever did the uh, the Blu-ray uh, release on? I, fr- I thought it was vinegar error. syndrome or something or okay something. Don't know. Anyways, 
Um, okay. As an actual horror movie, I give it a two. It's a piece <laughs> of junk. Okay. Uh, sitting here and enjoying it with you and Gabe, yeah. I give it a nine. Easy. Yeah. Easy. A nine. I mean, this. I had a blast watching this with you guys. I mean, I was cracking up every... Every every time that, that anyone even talked, mm-hmm. I mean, just that the accent you, and the, the yeah. story, it just, man, and it's like, what the hell is going on? How did they get there? Why are they doing this? How dumb can they be? As much as I hated Duke, he was so hilarious. Hey. Oh, is Duke, wait. Duke wait, is wait, the, hey, the, the haunted ghost. Oh, <laughs> look at Duke, I'm the goofy, ghost. I'm wearing my own shirt. No, that was and... a different guy. That, I don't remember. Yeah, Duke was the guy who had the the buxom girlfriend who wanted to fight everybody. Oh, so he was the the, the Jersey leather yeah, guy. Yeah. Okay, so I was right. The fr- okay, so that's Duke. Okay. Then the other dude. I don't remember his name. I don't he either. Had the, he had the puppet. Pluto or something like that. Some, yeah. And I know the, the, uh, oh, the puppet. Oh, my God. The dad that was dating that daughter. His name's Peter. So he was a dad? No. <laughs> the grandfather? He, he was... He was older. He was my best friend. He's 85. Hey. And he was he was clearly in a relationship with me again. I wonder if that's your uh, micromanagement guy. No. No. Because okay. that guy's name This character's name is Peter in the movie and his real name is Peter. Uh the producer's name is Michael Lee. So definitely not. Oh, okay. I would have been like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. It hey, would. guys, I'm young, too. <laughs> <laughs> Something I would do. Mm-hmm. Right. So you're giving this a nine. I'm yeah. giving it a six. Gabe. Gabe. Gabe, what do you... Actually, I would like to recall that I think I re... Gabe was so bored that he was yeah. worried about the heat of the computer. That was the movie, yeah. yeah. So the computer's heating up. He w- I was... Well, he was I mean, let's be honest here. Attention. He was frying eggs on the GP. So, um, that's a solid one. The GPU is on fire. A solid one? Dang. Solid one. That's I didn't even rough. think he'd give it a solid one. No, I'll be nice. It was a solid one. If, it, if you guys weren't here, I don't even know what it I, I wouldn't. I'd have been out. Like, it wasn't. Dude, funny you were here. We were here and you were out. I don't know what. But it was, it was I don't know. It was all right. It was kind of there, funny. Was that him? Not See, really. I thought I was always going to be the guy falling asleep. You did, you did leave for a. a a hot moment there during the movie. I don't like, remember what you like did. Like my bot, I left my body. No, or you, I left. you left the room. Oh, that's right. Because my, a, I think somebody came in for a moment. Yeah, yeah but, somebody came in. Okay, yeah. so there's there's a rating in case you don't want to stick around and watch the rest of this. Now I'm gonna dive into some of the history, some of the drama, which drama. is really exciting. Uh, was there anything in particular you wanted to point out? No, I, y- you were the leader, and I just follow you. Like, you are my Jesus of Holy horror movies. smokes. Jesus of horror I'm, movies. I'm your Peter. Hey, we talked about every time we're on camera. <laughs> That's two. That's two? Okay. Are okay. we putting a counter up since... No, I'm not going to bother with that. So the budget was $250,000, yeah. but then it ballooned to $300,000. As I somewhat mentioned from some question and answer stuff that I saw online, this guy named Frank Farrell, who was one of the producers, not the money guy, but he was a producer, he was talking about how... A bunch of these uh, film students wanted to do a movie, and their professor was really interested in pushing a film through their class. So was this an assignment? Or was it just well, kind of extracurricular? W- it was like a wish of the professor. Uh, before I die, I want to make a movie with yeah. my students. And okay. he kind of saw the drive in these guys, and so they got <laughs> the school got behind them. But like I mentioned, then when the school realized it was a horror movie, they were kind of like, ew, we don't want to associate mm, with this was, kind of a thing. I feel like this was around the boom of horror movies, too. In the 80s? Oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah. But these guys had a lot of connections with people who were just starting out who have gone on to do great things and be like part. Like in the industry? Yeah. Uh, mm. Well, I mean, almost like Roger Corman is like the king of bees. These people, you know, have a lot of things out there. They might not necessarily be like, wow, amazing. Though one, one of them did win uh, several awards for their makeup work. 
Hallway Demon was worked on by original makeup artist Arnold Gargiulo before he got fired two weeks into production for turning in subpar work. Replacing Gargiulo was Gabe Bartalos, who was between 15 and 17 years old at the time. I can't yeah, nail it down. It. Bartalos is why this movie's monsters are so freaking great. He'd go on to do the amazing leprechaun Shut makeup up. for all the Warwick Davis films and make all the characters in the Basket Case sequels. Guy knows okay, what the good. fuck he's doing. Duke and Lynn. Now, what's funny to me is when he's talking about his age, he says somewhere between 15 and 17. Well, somewhere between 15 and 17 to 16. So I just solved that mystery for you right there. Um, what a douche. <laughs> just, it just seemed silly to me. You're such a dick. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, can you imagine what the kid was thinking, too? Like, like uh, I mean, whose brother was he, obviously? Mm, I don't know. You know, but like you're in high school. Yeah. You're at the career center. We have a career center here <laughs> in our area. And you're doing this stuff. And it make I'm like, oh, you've got an assignment. Like, hey, guys, I can help you out on your movie, but I've got to get to class. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, how exciting would that yeah. be? You know? And, and as practical effects go, I would have loved to know the difference between, like, did what's-his-face before he got fired, were some of his creatures uh, in this film? It said... I mean, that two weeks into production, but that doesn't mean that his stuff was on camera. Uh, you're right. You're right. Uh, I just want to jump to something with that. Gabe, could you find out what channel that clip was on? It was, wanna... uh, it was Kill Count. Yeah. It was? Yeah, it was Kill Count. Okay. Guys, I want Thanks. you to go check that out because the guy who did that did a fantastic job. Oh, they do great work. I mean, it, the it was great. I was entertained completely by yeah. watching his... I mean, it makes us look like dog water. Hey, thanks, Kill Count. You guys rock. You guys should go check out Kill Count's this channel. This movie was an originally meant to be called Twisted Souls. And if you watch uh, the intro to the movie, it's, it's called a Twisted Souls production. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So 90% of this movie was done. There was a rough cut, a two and a half hour rough cut put together for mm -hmm. the original Twisted Souls. I don't the... know if I could have lasted two and a half hours. <laughs> I know Gabe wouldn't. No, he no, he would have no. walked out on us. Been done. The money man, Michael Lee, sees the rough cut. He shows it to a studio, a studio that was known for their kung fu movies, their kung fu action movies, uh, that are like nonstop action. They see it. They basically tell him, no, it's too slow and it's too long. Okay, and this guy, Michael Lee, has like almost zero... Um, history. Experience. Yeah, experience. Mm -hmm. So the studio tells him this and he takes it like strong to heart and he's thinking, okay, I spent all this money and he tells the whole crew, you guys wasted all my money. Holy shit. So he was he was super pissed off. Well, was he happy with the rough cut? No, he, well, before. I mean, before he we, got. In, I don't, I don't even know. All I know is that the, when the studio spoke to him, he definitely was like, okay, this is garbage. And the crew could not convince him, hey, this is just a rough cut. So, because of his lack of experience, he yes. didn't understand the whole process. Exactly. Yeah. So he starts going in there after the crew has like put time into making some cuts and stuff. And he just starts tearing stuff apart. Now, remember, this is film. This is not digital where you can easily move things. This is where you're taping oh, is, freaking yeah. film together. Yeah. This is like me coming in when you're about done. Hey, man, uh, uh, we're about to put this up on YouTube. And me going, slice, dice, yeah. you're done. But far worse. No. So then this Frank Farrell, uh, he sees what's being done. And he steps in. He's like, no, this is wrong. You can't do this. Then Michael Lee fires the whole crew. He Holy just shit. fires them all with a 90% done movie. All the production staff? Yeah, everybody. Wow. The only thing that needed to be done, which is somewhat funny, is in this movie there's parts where you see characters making weird movements and you're like, what are they doing? They are reacting to something that was supposed to be added post-production. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yep. because they all got fired... It never got finished. Then he connects with th this dude. He looks for some more uh, input from a chick named Jeannie Joseph, who not a genie all in of her, no all of her experience is anybody want to guess porn. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, 
porn, porn. All, all of her experience is in the porn. She tells him that the movie is unsalvageable. Ooh. This porn chick this tells him. This porn him, artist says, dude, this is garbage that yes. I'm not even going to touch. He then hires her oh my God. to fix it. She only uses 45 minutes of the original footage, creates her own narrative, films new stuff, which you know why we were watching it, and we are like, why does this cat, this were cat, make no sense within the context of everything else? Because the original Twisted Souls had the Spider Woman, it had the Lizard Dudes, it had the Octopus Guy, it had the Grim Reaper, it had the Deadite Chick. Mm -hmm. That was all the original. Everything that this porn chick did was the old dude with yeah. the vein, yeah. the chick in the casket, the cat guy, and Billy's birthday. She added all of this. Oh, God. And just splices it together. Okay, so uh, let's, let's, uh, for, for you that have come in and need a cliff notes, there was a movie. It was practically done. Uh, Kung Fu. Uh, uh, production team uh, goes, dude, this is trash. You can't even fix it. The money guy goes, I'm pissed, fires everybody, brings a porn chick in. She just fucks it up even further. Yes. Okay. And then we get this masterpiece where every five minutes we're going, what the fuck is that? Totally. Like, totally. What the fuck is that? <laughs> yes. The only good thing that I can say about Jeannie Joseph, I don't know her personally. I'm sure she's a fantastic woman. she does woman. great work outside of this movie. I don't know. I've been told, though. Big Muffs 3. The, <laughs> the farting of the Muckman. Oh, yeah. She did herself. Nope. Michael Lee, the money guy, it was the, the sound guy, put it in as a joke. Michael Lee saw it and, and said... I love this. Now, Jeannie, literally, this is true. She literally said, F this crap, and quits because she s said, this is garbage. Gabe, let's play that. This is hard shit. It's just so you can all get this. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, here come the shit monsters from the septic tank. By the way, that guy has got a fantastic... Butt trail. Yeah. So anyway, that's enough, Gabe. He puts it in his joke. Michael Lee loves it. Jeannie she quits, quits yeah. because okay. she's like, this garbage has to be removed. He has nowhere else to go so and is able to hide. No, he hires her back. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so it, that's it's, where that extra 50000 came from. is in there. Wow. Also, part of Jeannie's she added in the uh, everything that has to go, do with the chick that's in the coffin, every scene with her. She puts in that banshee scene where we have the fantastic puppetry. So my oh, she put that in. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say it makes sense now that it was a rough cut where they would have spliced stuff where they would have spliced the guy going, "Hey, check yeah. out this puppet." But no, but this, this is this is her. Yeah, Gabe, if you can, this one you're gonna have to move. Wow. Move so we can see. Now, everybody pay attention to the lower left-hand corner of the screen. There we go. <laughs> Look, there he is. Who's hooked oh, here? Did right. you see him try to yeah. duck? He, like, sees... Oh, crap, I'm in the oh, scene. Shit. And he just ducks ducks back. Let's cut this out. Okay, back Psych. to us. So, this movie is as fantastic as you can all tell. Yes. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. It, it is. It is. There's fun. a lot of stuff in here that is a lot of what the fuck, Billy, and then the ghost kid, and then uh, the birthday party. I don't know. It makes sense. Let's. Now. let's well, not really. okay. Let's talk about Billy though. Billy gets chased by this were cat. Yes. It, Who's who seems a little bit of a map. I mean, oh. he might be a map. <laughs> let's talk about the were cat. First of all, the were cat is wearing the. Jerry Seinfeld puffy shirt. He is, yes. He also has a hook hand. He's a pirate werewolf. And he Pedophile is wearing cat. spurs. Oh, right, that's right. He came in. Psh, psh. Yeah. What the heck? What is with? Is he's a, he's a pirate cat cowboy. Pedophile. Pedophile. Anyway, he's chasing after Billy 
Billy's running away. Billy's just running wherever he wants, okay? But he happens to come across a previously dug grave that's only three feet deep that was supposedly set as a trap. He falls in it, and then Werecat starts burying him alive. And, and he's like, no. Yeah, Billy's attempt to escape don't. is just like a, uh, <laughs> uh, stop. Uh, uh. And then, you know, he, he, <laughs> he can't escape through this you know, three feet of dirt. Suppose he, he just he's done. Accepts it, and he's like, "It's like somebody drowning instead of standing up." My parents forgot my birthday. This is yeah, this is my this life. What I deserve. And, yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Good night. I I did notice. Also, oh, oh. So Michael Lee, when he got involved, yeah, he was very like, "I want this to be." They were trying to push on him. Let's do a movie called Hellspawn. Okay. And he said, "No, that's." You finish up this movie first. Let's see how it goes, which is Twisted mm-hmm. Souls, Spookies. But he also was very specific that he wanted it to be a carbon copy of Evil Dead. Oh, geez. Do you remember me saying this chick, that one chick? I said, she's a deadite. Yeah. And this makes so, so much sense now. You because the deadite eye. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, since we're so speaking about he was a fan. Her, yeah, clearly. exactly. Yeah. There is also something... Recently, in 2024, Shudder released a movie called Late Night with the Devil. Yeah. Gabe, can you show this quick from... This is not the one. Yeah, Late Night with the Devil. Let's uh, show this quick scene. Nope. Okay, that's enough. Now, let's go... I got a headache. Back to Spookies. Now, you tell me, do you guys think that Late Night with the Devil had any inspiration from Spookies? Oh, the acting. I forgot how awesome it was. Mm. Come on. Uh, you I don't mean, think so? Nah, I don't see it. Are you I, fooling with me right now? I mean, I, it's, it's, it's uh, okay. Their eyes glow from electricity, we got electric- and their head splits and we got open. Head splitting open. I I don't know. It I seems mean, like, I bet there's okay, a bunch of good. movies like that. For me, I'm a big board game kind of guy. Yeah, and you watching are. this reminded me of a game that I really enjoy called Betrayal at House on the Hill. And Gabe, throw up just a couple screenshots of this one. This is very uh, reminiscent of House on Horror Hill. Yeah, keep scrolling. Let people see some of that stuff. Sanity. So this is... Is uh, this your board game and you're just putting this in? Yeah, here? I'm just trying to... <laughs> say, no. This is like on the third edition. It's it's a good game. It's a tiling game. It, it always has a different story. You come back to us. Um, the story changes every time. But the reason this movie reminds me of it is because there's so many monsters in this movie... And it's all yeah. based on a See, house. See, I would love to know the backstories of some of these monsters, but you just never get that. No. Which, speaking of that, that movie called Cabin in the Woods. Yeah, I love that movie. Where it was kind of just like a random, what monster are we going to release? And there's like that whole like warehouse of monsters waiting. Mm-hmm. I, I was that movie. so annoyed because movie. there were movies, I mean, there was movies, there was monsters in there that I preferred to see over the uh, hillbilly killers. Which, by the way, one of the hillbilly killers was named Judah. No, yeah, well, that's about right. This movie for... Sucks. Oh, sorry. Wow. I apologize. Go ahead. Sorry, that was an outburst. <laughs> oh, this movie did only grow. <laughs> Budget, $250,000, $300,000. Grossed. 17, 18 grand. Yep. Yeah, I saw that part. <laughs> that was rough, dude. That, that sucks. Mm-hmm. That sucks. So he was probably like, yep, that's a success. No, I mean, he definitely was like, they wasted my money. Um, But if anything you watch, if you see these people that were involved with the first shooting, the Twisted Souls, anybody, when they start talking about Michael Lee, dude, it's brutal. They say things like, I hope he's burning in hell. I mean, there, it was bad. The drama involved in this movie is so intense. See, I don't, I don't, man, how bad, uh, why, I'm, why didn't they quit if they're that bad? Look, Judah, if, if you were sitting here today and I was like, Judah, I hope you burn in fucking hell. Mm-hmm. 
Do you think I would be sitting here with you? Mm, no. Well, we're in a different we're in a different power structure right now. You're the I boss. I know you are, Daddy. <laughs> Gross. He's a uh, we're in a Daddy Dom situation. I Gabe, are you okay over there right now? You look a little sick to your stomach. I'm chilling. Yeah, you definitely you either look jealous or sick. I'm not sure which one's going on right now. Could be a little bit of both. People yeah. can't see you shaking your head. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> no. So you are jealous. I am. Okay. Slightly. This movie should be watched simply for the cluster F that it is. Well, w- let me let me put something on. It should be watched with a buddy yes. or a group of buddies. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Otherwise, if you're by yourself, you're just going to be sitting there going, I wish I could share this with someone because, like, what the F? Yeah. The no. narrative and storyline makes no sense. I saw one person question, if practical effects are amazing, can a movie still be good if the storyline sucks? No, because the practical effects in this movie good. are good. Except for that little ghoulie monster that was like, Bleh. that was really bad. The ones that bit that puppet. chick. Not, not the vampire puppet lady. But the the little the, thing that chased after, or there yeah, were two and of she, them. Yeah, and she crushed it with the yeah, yeah okay, yeah. the one that I was calling the Fiji mermaid. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. But the what is more entertaining than this movie is the drama behind it. If you, dude, I I can't wait to actually spend more time into reading and hearing what went on behind the scenes. I, I for real, I'm gonna buy wow. the Blu-ray and I'm gonna watch. All the supplementary material maybe because we should, maybe we should do a, like a little supplemental uh, live viewing of uh, some extras oh, or something we could. like that. Yeah, right. If you're interested, let us know in the comments. We'll uh, maybe we'll put it up. But this movie is horrible, but at the same time, it's extremely enjoyable because of the insanity. I would recommend seeing it. Would you? I already said yes. You did, Gabe. See this? this Shut is up, the Gabe. Dom structure right here. How much have I spoken this entire time, guys? Huh? <laughs> well, every time, every time I talk, I get a look. See, see, see. I'm gonna get a beating later too. Gabe, yeah, you I'm still have like. that belt in your office? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> this has been creeping it real. I'm Judah over here. I'm Jake. And behind oh, the see, camera. Oh, see, you won't even let me say my name. What is this? Whoa. This is creeping it real. I am Judah. Am I loud? I'm Jake. If uh, ac- according to him, that's okay. According to me, you are Jake. Th- yes. Okay. See, there behind we the camera is Gabe, and right here is our fuzzy baby Pudge. Please like, subscribe, and share. We are on YouTube and Rumble. Leaving comments, I promise you, 100%. I will so- be interrupted Sorry. by Jake. See, this is why I don't allow anyway. I will respond to you. Thanks. See you next week. I think we're going to watch Terror Vision. Bye. I don't even care. Am I allowed to? Am I allowed to?